everyone, my name is Loco, and welcome back to some more StarCraft 2. Today I'm playing an online live game for you, and this time around it is going to be a Terran versus Protoss, played at the same time as I'm also giving commentary to it. So in this particular match, I plan on focusing around a Marine Marauder based army. That seems to be my standard go-to uh, go to style in the Terran vs Protoss matchup. Just because Marine Marauder Medivac is just one of those compositions that you can't really go wrong with. Obviously, I do actually need to get a barracks first before putting down a gas geyser. But Marine Marauder Medivac has been one of those staple compositions that have been has been around since the beginning of StarCraft, really. And it is just extremely good. It doesn't really have any particular weaknesses, upgrades skill extremely well, so that basically means that whatever you're doing, Marie Marauder Medivac can never really be that bad of a situation. Now, he actually scouted super early, which may be a little bit annoying. I don't really want to lose my uh, my SCV if I can prevent that. That would be cool. But um, obviously, um, that is one of those compositions that has been around in a very long time. If you've played any StarCraft, I know you've heard of that comp exactly a hundred times already because, well, probably even more than that. Just because uh, it has been around since uh, since the very beginning and the dawn of time. Now, I did manage to block in that, um, that uh, probe, but I decided not to go for any of scouting myself, at least early on. And the reason for that is quite simple. I'm getting a Reaper right now to go ahead and scout with instead. So obviously, in order to make that worthwhile, I will need to kill this probe, obviously. Uh, making sure that he can't steal my gas guys right now. I'm gonna be following it up with my own second command center as soon as I possibly can So we'll use this uh, this Reaper here to start scouting about and as a follow-up I plan on going for my expansion very shortly and transition to watch a bunch of Marines now Obviously Terran versus Protoss can be a little bit tricky as uh, There are quite a couple of strategies that Protoss can do that are annoying such as for example um, you know, some uh, Oracle aggression or, you know, any kind of aggression in the early part of the game really is rather annoying for the Terran player to deal with. So we need to play a little bit more defensive here early on and for that reason, I'm going to be getting a reactor right now on the barracks. Also going to be following this up with a starport as soon as possible so I can get some meta effects out. But also already getting my factory here just in case. Alrighty. So we do see the expansion right now, which is a good indication that we are in a fine decision making process. Ooh. Oh, don't really want to lose this without proper scouting at least. Okay, we'll just see if I can potentially pick off a probe. That actually is really nice. Generally speaking, you want to try and not lose that. But honestly, there was such a minefield of uh, of uh, pylons there that that was a big chance he was going to be able to, to catch me anyway. So I figured if I just suicide it in for a worker there, it's probably going to give me more value rather than trying to get out and cross my fingers and hope he doesn't actually photon overcharge. Got to be getting two more barracks right now. Uh, we'll also be getting my reactor on there, and we're going to be following it up with a starport too. Now, keep in mind, right, I am primarily a, uh, a Zerg player myself, so I don't actually know very specific strategies when it comes to playing Terran, and building timings and all that is definitely not where my strengths lie in this matchup. That said, I seem to have quite a bit of success. I seem to be able to win quite a good couple of games, just from playing very, very basic styles. And like I said, even though I don't really know exactly what's going on half the time as far as the super specifics go, if you stick to the basics, it seems to be just fine. So one of the basics, for example, is that there is a chance your opponent is going to be going for uh, a bunch of Oracle aggression. Now, for that very reason, I am creating about eight Marines here early on before really making anything else. Now, my opponent is still trying to do some scouting. Gonna be switching those guys over. And we're going to be getting plus one attack as soon as possible. Now, this is where my opponent could be baiting me out. He could be baiting me out to try and get me to move, which is fine. But I'm immediately getting back in just because there's a big chance uh, that he's going to be capable of doing a little bit of damage to me. Obviously, we'll have to make sure we land that expansion. But these Marines are going to be dedicated to the mineral line here. Everything else that will be created right now will serve as defense for keeping my natural alive. Okay. There we go. Gonna make sure that I get my, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the Oracle. Gonna make sure that I get my, uh, my expansion, uh, safely settled. And all in all, this is looking to be pretty good. This is looking to be pretty good. Now, he did manage to kill a couple of my units there, which is a little annoying. It looks like we hit a minor supply block here. I love the turn music in this game. Gonna be getting one of those here. And we'll just keep on making more army. 
That's going to be our main goal. Okay. Got to move a couple of the workers that I have in the main over towards the natural, as I'm currently oversaturated. Okay. And with that, we got a really nice push right about to finish up here. Gonna start moving across the map very shortly. Those bases mine out so damn quickly with Terran. But uh, we should be capable of doing a nice little bit of aggression now. And I'm gonna start moving across the map for that very reason. Trying to stutter step in, there we go. And we'll see if we can, uh, if we can start moving onwards. Okay. Now, I got a couple of good units right now that will be finishing up all of their upgrades very soon. There we go. Got Stimpak finishing up. Plus one attack will be done soon, too. Still moving here across the map, though. Oh, hit a minor supply block once again. These things add up. Those things add up rather quickly. It's not the biggest of deals, but it definitely does make things more difficult. More difficult than it needs to be. Okay. Plus one attack. How are you doing? Okay, it's done. It's done. You think he's actually gonna fade in? Alright, he is. That seems like a big mistake here, sir. Not gonna lie. Still rallying more and more units across the map. And my opponent is just forced to GG out. Alrighty, so here we are in the replay of the game that I just played. Now, I talk about basics a lot, but I never really exactly explain what I mean with basics. So like I mentioned, I'm primarily a Zerg player, right? And for that very reason, I've played StarCraft 2 for many years and many hours, and therefore I've got a basic understanding of all of the matchups, and I will be able to macro relatively well. My basics with all races are gonna at the very least be reasonable, and it does allow me to beat master level opponents relatively easily, even though I wasn't really following one specific strategy. Now what exactly do I mean with basics? Let me speed up the game a little bit. I mean things such as, for example, simply producing 100% of the time. Such as, for example, keeping your money as low as possible. Such as, for example, not getting supply blocked. So that is why I always hammer on the fact of not getting supply blocked and why I hate it so much when it happens myself. Because it basically slows you down a ton. Even though I wasn't going for any kind of specific scenario, I mean, I knew I wanted to go for Marie Marauder Medivac with upgrades. I didn't have like a super specific build in mind. I wasn't thinking about, oh yeah, 31 supply, I need to be making this, or 32 supply, no, I don't. I just sort of make units whenever I have the money for it. Now, as long as you have a basic understanding of how much you can actually make off of two bases, and how much uh, supply you can actually afford, and you have a basic understanding of the aggression that your opponent could be going for, I mean, I was assuming here that that Oracle would be flying in much sooner than it did, but it's actually only just now coming on the way, right? But if you have a basic understanding of what your opponent is trying to do, generally speaking, you're gonna be capable of, um, of just simply holding them. So, in this particular match, I just simply focused on getting a big upgraded army out. I tried keeping my money here at zero as much as possible, made marines, made marauders, made medevex, made upgrades, and I just simply moved across the map. And focusing on those basics, believe it or not, has helped me reach, you know, wins in, in, in very high, uh, or very, very solid win rates against high master level players in all matchups, even though I don't know specific things. Now, obviously, if you're looking to play at the highest level, right, and you're looking to, you know, beat Grandmaster level players, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. But in this particular case, my opponent decided to expand, take a huge risk, and it ended up being in my advantage, as I simply just had too many units for him to deal with. So long story short, right, even though this isn't a perfect example on how to play Terran or how to be, ex you know, exclusively playing Terran or whatever, at the very least, it, shows, it should show you that if you focus on basics, such as simply producing stuff, making a lot of units, getting upgrades, and uh, making sure that you don't get supply blocked, although I did get supply blocked once or twice in this match, which is a little bit sloppy. All in all, that is what you want to be focusing on. A lot of players get stuck into thinking like, oh, I need to be making, you know, eight marines then, and then like four hydro, I need to go for like a, a, a one in two ratio on my marine marauder count, or I need to be having at least like one medevac per eight uh, marines that I have, or whatever, right? And while those are good things to think about as well, they should not be your main train of thought, just because it doesn't really matter all too much in realistic scenarios. Once again, unless you plan on playing at the very highest level. So, 
I hope that this at the very least helped out some of you Terran players out there, as well as Zerk and Protoss players alike. Uh, just because uh, all of these rules apply to all matchups, and I think that if you manage to figure out what the basics are, and you manage to spend your money, make sure you make a lot of stuff, and you get your upgrades, and you push out when upgrades finish, things should be A-OK, -okay. and at the very least, it allows me to take up a lot of victories. Obviously, there's a lot more strategy that goes into all of this as well, by the way, but uh, for the most part, if you manage to focus on these basics alone, things don't become rather easy. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, do make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one. Boop!